Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I was just going to do a quick Photoshop tutorial that I've been using a lot lately and um, for the longest time I wasn't sure how to do it um, in a way that would be the most effective and, and time efficient, but since I've been making these shirts and designing them I figured out better ways to do things. So what I'm going to show you today is how to take an image and put text over top of it and then make the inside of your text become that image. Um, I'm probably not explaining that very well, but it will make sense when you see it visually. So here I've just opened a photo I took several years ago at a place called The Wilds in Ohio, and it was a place where you could drive through on a, on a tour bus and you could see deer and, you know, llamas and wild animals and you know, everything you see in the quote-unquote wilds. Um, very beautiful place, very photogenic, obviously. So that's what I'm going to be working with today. And so I'll have this, and then I'm going to decide what I want my text to say. And so you're going to go over here to your text tool. And when you do this, you want to use a font that is really um, thick and wide, so that you can fit as much, you can see as much of the image through the text as possible. A skinny font um, or a light font really will not work for this process. So a good standby that I use um, for this is, uh, let's see where it is, Impact. So you'll see it here. It's, um, I believe it's one of the de default fonts. I'm not sure. If it's not, I'm sure it's available for free uh, use either personal or commercial. I'm, I think it's both. So if you just look up free impact font, this is a really good one to use. Um, so I'm going to keep this simple for the sake of demonstration. So I'm going to click right about uh, right about here and I'm going to type the text that I want my image to say. So for this, I'm just going to put in wild. And then you want to take that uh, text and move it to where you want it. Now, in order to get it to be the size you want, you're going to go up here to, oh, I lost my mouse, there it is, um, where'd it go? It keeps disappearing. You're going to go up here to edit and you're going to go to free transform and then you're going to pull this text until you have it the size that you want. Now remember, the larger and taller this is, the more of your image that is going to show through. So you can just kind of play around with this. And with this photo, I'm going to pull it down so that I get some of the sky and some of the road and some of the trees all in my words. So I'll make it a little bigger. And then when you're satisfied with where it is, you're going to hit enter to lock in that position. And then you're going to go over here to your layers palette. Your background layer is locked and we're going to unlock that to make our background a normal layer so that we can do the next step. So you just double click on your background layer. You don't really need to give this a name, so you just hit OK. And then you're going to hit your option button and you're going to hold your mouse right about here until you see that down arrow with the box and then you're going to click while you're still holding option. Whoop. There we go. I forgot to tell you, you have to drag um, your text layer below your um, background layer. My bad. I, I messed that part up. <laughs> So let's, let's undo that so I can show you the correct way to do that. I apologize. Okay, so here you've got your layer, your background layer that has been converted to a normal layer and your text layer. So the first thing you do is you drag your text layer down below that so that the background layer is on top. And then you hit option and put your cursor right here and you'll see the down arrow in the box and you click that and there's your text. Now, after you've done this, you can take your move tool up here and you can click on this layer that has your image and you can pull the image around. So if you want to get, you know, a certain 
look. You can move it around, you can drag it around, you can make it a little bigger if you want. Um, and then when you're done with that, you're gonna flatten your layers. So go to flatten image, and now you have your JPEG. And you can crop this down, you could make your background a different color, you could do whatever you want from here. So here is your text with a fill of a photo. I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions about Photoshop or any suggestions for any other tutorials I could provide for you, please let me know down in the comments. And please give this video a like if it helped you, and please subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day.